Hi everyone, it's Chloe with Super Bright LEDs and today I am here at the Kruger household. Every year Mike puts together this great presentation for Halloween so we decided to stop by and check it out. So Mike, can you tell me a little bit about this display? Uh, yeah, so uh, we this is our second year putting it on. Uh, my wife and I were just really big Halloween fans uh, and we just love making like the kids smile. It's fun to see the reactions out of the neighbors and the kids. Um, we get a big reaction from the neighborhood. They love it. We have about 30 to 40 animatronics out here um, and that's including the haunted house that we're putting on this year. This is the first time we're actually putting a haunted house on because last year um, we had about 150 kids come through. We were a little bit nervous about putting the uh, the whole display on for the first time because we didn't know what kind of reaction we would get but when we had 150 kids we were like that's it we're, we are going all out the second year so this second year we're going to put on a haunted house for everybody uh, we, uh, we actually planned it out a little bit better this year. We wanted a clown theme. We wanted just, you know, kind of like a large 12 in or 12 foot, you know, display going on with, we have a large 12 foot skeleton and we have all newer animatronics from um, Home Depot and different other type of stores and stuff. It's definitely worth it because when we see kids coming up and they're pointing and they're like, oh my gosh, yeah. this is awesome. I just love that, you know, it just kind of like puts like a, a comfort like, oh yeah, I've achieved what I was supposed to do by doing this because the kids, they just get an enjoyment for this time of year by seeing something like this in the front of the house. So how long does it often take you to set up all the decorations each year? So usually we try to prepare in August. Uh, this year it was a little bit, we were a little late to the game. Uh, so we had to like really start building the animatronics and everything inside. Uh, but most of the time we try to plan a couple months ahead of time just because of the amount of stuff that we have to put out. I try to plan out where I'm gonna put everything first and then power distribution and then lighting. And then after that, we actually will physically bring stuff out here. So you mentioned lighting. What role does lighting play in the display? Uh, lighting plays a tremendous role in the display. Uh, probably one of the most important roles in the display. Uh, we have close to 30 LED spotlights in the display. So the coloring, I'm a big lighting guy, so like I have to make sure that the, the brightness is correct, uh, the wattage is correct of the, of the light, um, how much power it's consuming, and also the, the, how the light is portraying on the prop that I'm putting the light on. It really creates that cinematic type of experience for people to look at things. So that's why I use, sometimes on these animatronics, I use multiple LED lights. And the great thing about that is, is that they don't draw much power. So I just, you know, I add two or three at one time and each light is only like 30 watts. So if I'm only adding 30 watts per light, I mean, that's a win-win. Because I mean, LEDs, they consume so much less power. You know, it's like, you can almost add like four or five lights to each animatronic and you're, you're, you're good. So lighting is everything. What advice would you give somebody else that would want to create something like this? Well, for one, you have to have the passion for it. And I wouldn't think somebody would do it without having a passion for putting on a display like this, especially investing this much money into it. Because, you know, some of these animatronics are not cheap, you know. And, you know, it takes a years and years to accumulate uh, this much stuff. This isn't something that we just accumulated over one year. Um, but my advice would be to, I think, plan, you know, like what kind of scenes. People like scenes. People like uh, stuff that's relative to movies and people like things that are, um, you know, relative to what they have experienced or what they think that's scary. You have to create that ambiance of like what, whatever theme you're going for, right. you know, and of course we're doing the clown theme, we're doing the graveyard theme, we added the werewolf and stuff like that. The larger animatronics in the, are, are set up in the background is more of like a depth of field for the animatronics and of course we don't want to be on all the large ones in the front you know and I encourage other homes like this to decorate because it's like you know it's Halloween you know they have to get this feel you have to encourage these kids to get out and trick-or-treat you know and 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 that's just what it's really all about so that's awesome yeah so Mike we love this year's display do you have anything in store for next year 
Uh, yeah, we definitely have uh, a lot in store for next year. So uh, last year we had 150 kids. Uh, this year I expect to have a lot more kids. If we have a really good positive response, uh, well, I should say maybe a scary response to the, to the haunted house over this year, uh, I'm going to definitely extend it out to the driveway. And I feel like um, uh, the kids, you know, the kids will really like that. And not just the kids, but the adults, you know. And just having something like that in this neighborhood just gives people something to look forward to. We're doing it for free. You know, we're not charging for any of this, of course. Uh, and uh, we just want to do it for the uh, enjoyment of the neighbors. That's awesome. Well, I'm very excited to see what you have in store for next year. Well, thank you. And thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today and mm -hmm. show me around and of course. show me your... Halloween decorations. Well, thank you very much for having me. And if you're interested in creating your own Halloween display, be sure to check out superbrightleds.com for your lighting needs.